Holden Morgan, restoration experts. From this to this in 12 easy months. I'm joined by Adam Jones here, who is really the, the person behind the restoration, who has been with it from start and hopefully through to finish, which isn't very far away now. In fact, we've got a month to complete this because it's off on a rally um, to Africa uh, in about, a, well, it's getting shipped in a month's time for a, a rally in October 2018. Right, well, as with the basis of nearly any car, the most important part is the chassis. So the Morgan is this part under here. Um, to note, steel. Steel, not yep, it's always been steel, never been wood. It's a complete fallacy. Um, the first thing we had to do after we dismantled the old original car was to make the chassis sound, particularly given the use that this is having. Um, it was reconstructed basically around some of the original parts, um, the side rails. We had to put a couple of new cross members in uh, to make it back to proper strength again. This part here, which is the cross head on which the front suspension here hangs, was modified down here to give us more ground clearance. Um, same time at the rear, the rear axle was given more droop, it goes down further. As you can see here, this is the part of the frame. Um, for a car of this period, it's very much not a standard thing to have telescopic dampers. It would have had lever arm dampers attached down here. Um, so in order to carry the dampers, we had to make some kind of frame. Uh, given the rigours of African roads, we decided twin dampers was the way to go. Um, offering more control over the movement of the back axle. So that's all managed by these dampers here and bolted to this frame, which in turn is bolted to the chassis and the body. The engine for the car, which in this particular car is Triumph TR based, was uh, completely stripped, taken apart, checked and thoroughly rebuilt with new consumable parts such as bearings, piston rings and that sort of thing. It's been, as you can see, reassembled and reinstalled with a more modern alternator from stock. Um, the SU carburettors have been rebuilt. Again, these were the original ones to the engine. It's been mated to the MOS gearbox, which again, original one to the car, with the correct bell housing, all uh, refurbished and overhauled. So everything is in first class condition. So what's left to do? Clearly wings, cowl, radiator, fuel tank, windscreen, Bonnet. Oh, it's bonnet. And but all, all of these con components, I have to point out, have actually been fitted previously and are currently away being painted. Uh, all the parts like bonnet catches, lights, they've all been fitted. So whilst it looks like a mammoth task, it's nothing like that really. So with literally four weeks to go, Adam, you're telling me it's not going to be a problem. <laughs> Have it's confidence, Jeff. It's going to be on the button. It'll be there. Yeah, driven straight into the container and uh, off to Africa. That's it.